On August 30th, 2022, at around 6 a.m., the alarm clock on my phone went off as it usually did every morning. On that morning, as I struggled to get out of bed and tried to force myself to join the land of the living, another alarm promptly went off on my phone. This was not a mistake, nor had I accidentally hit the snooze button instead of turning off my alarm, as I am sometimes known to do. This was an alarm that I had intentionally set months ago and had been patiently waiting in eager anticipation for the day that it would finally go off. This alarm was to announce the yearly hallowed return of that much polarizing symbol of autumnal delight, the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte, aka the PSL. My love affair, or pathological obsession, depending on who you ask, with the PSL, and my annual tradition of getting in line in the drive through to order one on the first day of the season, has positioned me squarely on the front lines of much mockery and criticism over the years. Trust me, I've heard it all. The usual statement that I get on the first day of PSL season is, it's August, it's not even cold yet. How can you drink something hot when it's 90 degrees out? I do concede that drinking a hot spiced coffee beverage in the midst of sweltering heat and humidity does, in seem, does indeed seem counterintuitive and defies all conventional logic. However, I am all too familiar with this challenge and of course, I have come up with several rebuttals ready at my disposal. Number one, Starbucks now does make an iced pumpkin spice latte. Number two, have you met me? And when in our history together have you known me to do anything by conventional logic? And three, I come from South Texas where sweltering heat and humidity are the norm year round. In a climate where you don't get the best romantic Hallmark movie fall experience with all the leaves, pumpkins, cider, and hayrides, sometimes drinking something that reminds you of fall helps you to create fall for yourself in the midst of everything, even if the weather and the circumstances are not willing to cooperate. That last one, creating something for yourself when circumstances are not willing to cooperate, is an important one for us, especially during the fall months. In this fast-paced world, it is all too easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of our daily lives. We rush from one obligation to the next, barely taking a moment to catch our breath. Our phones buzz with notifications, our schedules overflow, and we often find ourselves too easily overwhelmed. I am sure many of you, like me, have felt the relentless busyness and turmoil that often engulfs our lives. Statistics say that, in a given year, around 8% of U.S. adults will experience depression. On average, about 20% will experience an episode of depression in their lifetime. It is these sobering facts that make the desire for joy and the pursuit in search of it that much more important for people. Joy is not something we stumble upon by chance. It is a state of mind, a choice we make, and often it is either hidden beneath the surface of our routines and rituals where it becomes something that we very intentionally have to incorporate into them. Take, for existence, that ubiquitous seasonal beverage, the pumpkin spice latte. Ever since it was first introduced by Starbucks on October 10th, 2003, yes, it's the 20th anniversary of the PSL this year, yet another reason that I have to go out and get one, you understand. Its almost instant and meteoric popularity comes less from an appreciation of its delicious fall flavors but the nostalgia that it creates. It is more than just a cup of coffee. It is a symbol of the changing seasons, a reminder of cozy moments, and a hint of holidays to come. As one news outlet rather pejoratively described it, quote, there is a 100% probability that someone wearing an infinity scarf, well-worn Uggs, and a chunky knit sweater will post a selfie with their head tilted back sticking out their tongue with a peace sign on one hand and holding that sweet spiced nectar in the other. But however basic, or as Gen Z likes to refer to it, chewy that this may seem, some people need that sense of familiarity in their lives. Familiar things can help us orient ourselves in a world that is sometimes so frantic that we are not even sure which way is up anymore. It is a lifeline, however indulgent it may seem, 
to something that they know that brings them a sense of comfort. As another Matt, Matt Johnson, professor of consumer psychology at Holt Business School in San Francisco writes, we are tasting very literally all of the associations that we have built with the fall, pumpkins, and wholesomeness. Those nice, cozy feelings. Us diehard PSL fanatics will also be quick to tell you that, in spite of its appearances, there are also a myriad of health benefits and spiritual significances to both the pumpkin and pumpkin spice contained within our mighty beverages. Pumpkin is naturally low in calories and high in fiber, and is a source of beta carotene, which boosts vision, and vitamin A, which helps fight infection. Cinnamon was used in ancient Egypt as a symbol of prosperity and good luck, as was allspice in the West Indies, and was also said to promote spiritual empowerment, allegedly enhancing psychic abilities and promoting vivid dreams. Nutmeg was seen as an aphrodisiac that was a symbol of good luck, and supposedly was an aid in enhancing one's clairvoyant abilities. Cloves were seen in ancient China and Indonesia as a symbol of protection, abundance, and love. Ginger was associated in both China and India as a source of extra power and confidence, and a remedy for both nausea and coughing. When mixed together, pumpkin spice can aid in circulation and eases both indigestion and inflammation. It is also used in ritual magic by a number of pagan traditions to represent courage, protection, and action, and stimulate one's empowerment and growing potential. In our busy lives, rituals often become a blur. We rush through our morning routines, trying to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible, and we hurry through our meals. But what if we slowed down and paid attention to these daily rituals and took a moment to ask ourselves what the actions mean to us? What if we approached our rituals as intentionally as possible with mindfulness and gratitude? There is joy to be found in the smell of freshly brewed coffee, in the warmth of a comforting meal, and in the company of loved ones gathered around the table. These simple acts can be a source of profound joy when we pause to appreciate them. Our Unitarian Universalist tradition encourages us to seek truth and meaning in our own unique ways. It invites us to explore, question, and find our own path to spiritual fulfillment. As much as we draw our own personal spiritual inspirations from sacred texts and wisdom from other traditions, and from the words of prophetic people throughout history, we can also discover inspiration through our daily or seasonal rituals that help us to find and center ourselves. It is about finding what brings us joy individually and collectively, and it is about embracing the diversity of experiences within our congregation. One of the ways to find joy is through connection and community. In our fast-paced world, we often overlook the power of human connection. We spend most of our time traveling through our lives alone, allowing ourselves to be so busy and swept up in the craziness of it all that we never stop and allow ourselves to listen and truly connect with another individual. Today, I encourage you to reach out to someone in our congregation, someone you may not know well or know at all, and strike up a conversation. I've seen this done and modeled so well in our coffee hour time together in Jackson Hall. Take time to truly share stories, listen to their experiences, and find joy in the bonds that unite us. Joy can be found in the shared laughter, the empathetic listening, and the support we offer one another. For as much as we are solo travelers along the journey, we find connection to others along the way that can help make things just the slightest bit easier and serve as a reminder that we are not as alone as things may seem. But let us also recognize and acknowledge that joy is not a constant state. Life will still throw challenges our way and moments of sorrow and difficulty will come. However, by cultivating a mindset of joy and gratitude, we can weather these storms with greater resilience. Joy becomes a wellspring of strength that sustains us even in the face of adversity. The more that it becomes something that we find a way to intentionally practice, 
the more that it becomes muscle memory that we have to fall back on when darker and chaotic times and emotions come. In the chaos of our world, it is easy to become overwhelmed by the negative news, the demands of our jobs, and the pressures of daily life. But remember that joy is a choice, and it often hides beneath the surface, waiting for us to uncover it. Whether it is in the pause between sips of that pumpkin spice latte, the warmth of a hug from a friend, and the quiet moments of reflection, please know that whatever is your wellspring of joy that exists out there, however much others may shake their heads and sticker at it, let it be something that you not only cultivate and hang on to, but never let go. As we close today, I invite you to take a moment to ask yourself the question, what is it that brings you joy? Is it the simple act of sipping a warm beverage on a chilly day? Or is it the laughter of a child, the beauty of nature, or the connection you share with this community? Whatever it may be, hold it close to your heart and cherish it. May we go forth from this gathering with a renewed sense of purpose, to seek and cultivate joy in our lives and to share that joy with others. Let us remember that in the midst of this crazy world, joy is not elusive. It is a choice, a perspective, and a gift we can give ourselves in the world. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. May your days be filled with moments of joy, and may you find peace in the simple rituals of life. May it ever continue to be so. Blessed be. Amen. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. Namaste. Thank you all so much.